G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here, and to quote the great George Costanza, God rest his soul, worlds are colliding. Worlds are colliding! George isn't dead, thank Christ. Anyway, the great vegan booty, the nudist extremist, the only fed star, who's on fire at the moment, she's everywhere, recently went on The Project. Now, if you don't know who vegan booty or Tash Peterson is, here is a quick 10 second recap of everything. They thrash so hard! Your children. Oh my god, this woman carries on. Here she is recently being threatened with a very deathy related threat by a man who's driving a horse drawn carriage. I hope you're not filming my child. No. Filming these We're children. You what? Yep, that crazy woman has teamed up with the absolute wankers on the project and this is a video that you're all going to love. So stick around. But first, ladies and gentlemen, the merch drop is live! Well, it went live on the 1st of August, but there is still plenty of jumpers for people to go and grab, including this beautiful grey one. It's got me there, which is actually a photo of me at the Enmore Theatre. Remember this? Oh, what an amazing experience. Filmed that special in front of 2,000 people. But there's more! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing my brand new wife. Ooh. Little Dixon and uh, hello, good day, how hello. you doing? Uh, she's got the black one on, I've got the yes. grey one on, and what else do we have? We, uh, hang on, I'll zoom out. Hey, looking good, lady, my boy! <laughs> Dixon is now donning the beanie and about to walk back in. Hey, you look like you just robbed a bank. <laughs> I do! If you want to buy. The wet bandits. The what? The wet, the wet bandits. bandits. <laughs> yes, it is, from Home Alone. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go and grab this amazing merch and keep our dogs. Fed, then you can do that at isaacbutterfield.shop. Thank you very much. And what about these beautiful stubby holders? They're going to be there as well. So go and grab the merch before it sells out at isaacbutterfield.shop. Now, back to the video. Well said. Okay, so if you don't know what the project is, I imagine you're under the age of 60 and you're not a single mother. It's basically fear mongering and feminism. Sounds like a good band name. It's a real treat. Anyway, they teamed up with Vegan Booty to just freak out old women sitting at home jamming themselves with big dirty dillies and they showed her in a very, in quite a positive light. So please join me on my six monthly update on Tash Peterson. This is the most violent industry on this planet. Oh, isn't that voice just so calming? For five years, Tash Peterson has been a regular feature on Perth streets. If you're not vegan, you are an animal abuser, but this is not your fault. These industries have lied to you. So yes, if you don't know who Tash Peterson is, it's this lady, the 29-year-old animal activist, who is apparently worth 1.5 million US dollars, which is a fact that I think is absolute bullshit. She is everywhere. She recently moved from WA after being banned from every pub there. She pops her head into KFC every other day. She hangs out at Louis Vuitton complaining about leather handbags. And in her spare time, she likes to ruin children's parties. So after all of this and after me talking about her for two years and other people talking about her for two years and everyone fucking knowing about her, finally, the researchers at the project stumbled across her name, who knows where, and decided to interview her. In our own country! I'm definitely not afraid. I mean, I use my body to raise awareness for those who have no bodily autonomy, whether that be topless or close to being nude. And I think it works brilliantly to raise awareness for animals. Well, Tash, I'd just like to say I disagree. It doesn't raise awareness of animals being mistreated or treated in a negative way. It just raises everyone's knowledge of you being nude. Everyone knows you're nude. You're a nude lady. That's pretty much fucking it, that you're nude. People don't see you at the front of a courthouse or at the front of a fucking fast food chain in the nud and say, hey, I really should stop eating animals. No, they say, who is that crazy lady and why is she off her meds? They want to lift up my cards! Push her out! It's a real job, man! It's a real job! has run foul of the law many times. That right there is the voice of Waleed Ali, Australia's worst journalist. And he just made a chicken pun. Foul. Like chickens, bow, in a story about vegan activists. I can't believe I'm about to say this. Good one, Waleed. 
Well done. Paid close to five and a half thousand dollars in fines. We just ask you to put a top on. Go home. No, I'm not putting a top on. Whatever the police make of her, her naked body has attracted a more appreciative audience on the OnlyFans site. It's well known for being a porn platform, but I've used it as a way to make money to do what I want to do full time for animal rights. Uh, yeah, it, it's known as a porn platform because it is. I know that. I've bought a lot of people's OnlyFans to react to on this channel, and I've seen a lot of pussies and assholes. Probably points to the fact that it's a porn platform. It's an easy way for women to sell their bodies to blokes so they can jerk off. It's not so much ladies going, oh, I'm so empowered, oh my God. No, you're selling your body so dudes can jerk off and then not give a shit about you. Cool, hope you're proud. I mean, you say it's not what it's used for, but I've seen yours. Oh my God, it's vegan booties tits. <laughs> vegan booties dirt box, that's confronting. I saw your bits and bobs, your bits and pieces, your box and dice. Things no man should have to see. So I would suggest, yes, you're using it as a porn site. You may be, you know, raising the money for the animals and being all, you know, nice to the animals and all that shit, but you are using it as a porn site, okay? Let's not beat around the hairy bush. So what does her boyfriend think? Well, he's the one shooting the videos. Ah, here he is, the king of the simps. This bloke. Seeing Tash half naked or even fully naked with lingerie on in public, I can imagine would be difficult for some boyfriends. However, I've just found it quite strengthening for our relationship. But Tash hasn't always been so comfortable with attention. People think I'm really loud and outspoken, which I obviously am as an activist, but the real me and the me as a child was very quiet and shy and I just wanted to be with animals. I didn't really care for being around other humans. Okay, here's the part of the video that I hate doing, okay? It's the part where I'm serious. I actually like Tash. She's a nice person and we probably agree on more things than we disagree on, okay? That's just fact. I just don't like the way she goes on about things and the way she uses her vegan activism mindset to disrupt things and carry on. I don't think it's beneficial. She does and that's where we differ. And I think that's what most people would think about her if they actually gave a genuine statement about their thoughts on her. That's enough of being nice. Fuck vegan booty to the moon. The animal lover continued to eat meat until she was 23. Which is only a few years ago, by the way, you fucking hypocrite. Because she started being an activist a few months after she stopped eating meat, which screams cult to me. It screams like you're in a cult, love. I watched a documentary called Food Choices and I immediately changed overnight. Cult, cult, cult. Food Choices is a known bias docker, okay? They cherry picked data and that was just the whole thing with Food Choices. It's been debunked several thousand times. Not to mention that they had a foregone conclusion that Meat, animal products, dairy products are bad. That's what they wanted to find out. That's not scientific, that's cult-like doctrine. I went to the supermarket the next day, I bought soy milk, all the plant-based alternatives. Sounds like a fucking blast, Tash. I mean, you would have to stock up on the old soy milk for your little soy boy boyfriend. I bet he's sculling fucking cartons of that shit in between editing photos of your dirt box to raise money for the cows or whatever. Who cares? Dedication has come at a price. She's been manhandled on multiple occasions. There have even been death threats. Now I don't condone death threats. It'd be a bit weird if I did. And I've been on the receiving end of probably just as many as Tash. And the whole manhandling thing, you shouldn't do that either. But also when you run into a fucking paddock full of cows or bulls or whatever, people aren't gonna treat you too kindly, which is what happened there. You're not just gonna, politely escort her out when she's running in there tits ahoy. You, people don't know what the fuck's going on. They do things they probably shouldn't do. I guess that's the way to look at it. I mean, the only way you could get her out of that situation without actually having to forcibly remove her is to cook up a nice, juicy, wagyu marbled steak and chase her out of there with it. Pretty much being called every name under the sun, um, from a whore, a slut, skank, I'm glad you got my emails. No, that's a joke. That is a joke, obviously. It's not nice to be mean. You can call her a fucking idiot as much as you want, like I do. And she goes on here to talk about some of the death threats that she has received. And Tash and I spoke about this because she messaged me about one of my alleged supporters sending her horrible death threats. And I messaged her back and I said, this is a year or so ago, I said, Tash, vegan boots, I know who that dude is. And he sends me the exact same messages. 
He just threatens to kill everybody. He's a fucking lunatic. Ah, the internet. What a wonderful place it is. There's a lot of public backlash, so I want to be there for that. We know it turns you on, mate. Get over it. A vegan activist himself, Jack is happy to keep going without a hint of jealousy. He doesn't see it as cheating or anything like that. He supports me for doing what I want to do with my body. Today, Jack's helping Tash prepare for a protest outside McDonald's. Today, Jack's helping Tash scream at people while they go and get lunch in an inane attempt to stop them enjoying their happy meals. In reality, they're just making people look at Tash and go, fuck those vegan people, I don't want to be like them. You're doing the opposite of what you think you're doing. Among the critics, there's the occasional supporter. I think she's doing good. a good job. Good. I'm vegan myself, yeah. so I ordered the hash brown. I'm, you guys absolutely look vegan. Look at the life just draining out of your bodies as you stand down the barrel of the camera. Tash has people laugh at her as they walk past. And sure, there may be some angry people, but realistically, the most accurate way to look at all of the people who walk past and react to her is people looking at this nearly 30 year old OnlyFans model dressed as a cow and they think to themselves, what the fuck? They're not singing out death threats, they're not threatening her in any way, they're not manhandling her, they're just looking at her going, what are you doing? There's going to be a lot of criminal charges in the future and so many court cases after that giving me a platform to spread my message for animals. I'll definitely keep going until I can, really, until the day I die. I want to keep speaking up for animals. I hope to see animal liberation a lot sooner so I don't have to be doing it for the rest of my life. And for all her shortcomings, at least she stands up for what she believes in. We have to credit her on that even if we disagree. And even if she is wrong, because she is. I admire that. Not her, but I admire that. So here's the question. What is next for the great vegan booty Tash Peterson, other than when she gets my merch, obviously? Well, here's the answer to that question. Guess what, WA? We're getting the fuck out of here. We have a one-way ticket to Melbourne, and I'm going to just protest over there. Nothing can stop me from protesting. We may be going to Sydney after that, um, but other than that, we just want to explore the East Coast, so... Uh, if any of you want to catch up with us, um, maybe we can plan a protest. Maybe we Anything. Can't We're up for anything. I tell you what, guys. I live on the East Coast. Feel free to drop in and do another podcast. I'd love to see you. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Isaac Butterfield.shop for the merch. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Bye-bye.